lazy bots for smart people hello guys welcome to another episode of power automate learning series in this video we are going to learn about how to convert a file to base64 string actually while converting a file to base64 string the binary format is converted to normal ascii string so that we can transfer the file through a api or any other mechanisms and also this encoding provides some security too because a normal image can be understood by a human naked eye but in case of converted by 64 string a human can understand what it means and what data is contained in that by 64 string so that's a feature of this and to see some practical examples of this you can check the previous videos of lexi bots i will give a link in the description and let's move on to the video actually what we are going to do here is we will convert some image and text files to base64 this is a sample image which we are going to convert to base64 string for that i will move to the power automate desktop then we are going to use run powershell script action for that actually we are using powershell script for conversion of this and i have put the path in the input argument so the file path contains the path to the file and you can see that the convert to base64 string is our method here so if we pass a file content to this function then we will get a base64 string so to get the content of this file we are going to use get content method in power script and in the path parameter we will pass the variable file path which contains the full path to the file and encoding type as byte so the get content will return a byte array to the base64 string conversion method and this will generate a base64 string and we can see that there are two variables produced one is powershell output and other is script error if everything works fine the base64 will be available at the powershell output variable and in case of error that will be contained in the script error variable now let's run and see what will happen yes in the output panel we can see that the base64 string is generated let's copy it and check whether it is a valid or not for that i'm going to use the code beautify website which provides base64 to image conversion online so i will paste the value here and you can see that the image is regenerated from this we can understand that the code is working and for the verification you can use this website also next we can try other type files now we have converted image next we will convert some text file so i am just copying the path of this text file and then updating the way in argument file path so that we can directly point to the file using that same in argument i will update the path here okay that is done next just run the same code again you can see the output yeah the code is generated and uh, we can see that the length of this output is very small because the file contains only that much data that's why so we can move to another website and check whether that is working or not okay i will paste the value here and i will click on decode and you can see that this is a test the output is regenerated here and we can try one more test i will change the text 
I'm changing this to lazy boards. And then going to try again. Just run the board. We got another value. I will just copy it and test it on that website. Just decode that. Yeah, now we can see that the output is generated. From this, we have learned how to convert any file into the 64 string. I hope everything is clear for you. And if you face any difficulties or you have any doubts, you can comment it below. For more informative videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And we can see in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.